G'day everyone. In this vMix Tiny tutorial, we're going to cover a really commonly asked question. And that is, why does the audio from my input stop working when it's not in the output? How do I get the audio to stay on all of the time? Well, we have a setting in vMix that allows you to control this called automatically mix audio. This allows you to choose whether your input has the audio automatically mixed when it's sent to the output or manually controlled so that you can choose when the audio is heard. So let's jump to the desktop and take a quick look at the settings. So I have a basic vMix production here. I have a camera input that has embedded audio from this microphone. I have an image and I have a video on loop. When you add an input with audio, you can choose how you want the audio to behave. So you may wanna have the audio act differently depending on if it's a microphone or a video intro. And by default, when you add a input with audio into vMix, it will automatically handle it in a certain way. So if you've got a video file with audio, vMix will automatically mix the audio. If you have a microphone, that setting will be turned off. But I'll show you how you can alter those settings a little bit later on. So the example that we hear from the most is from people doing live sports or live shows that require microphones to be on throughout the entire production. So this is regardless of what camera, image, or video is in the output. In this case, we wanna manually control the audio and not automatically mix it when going live to the output. In vMix, there are two places that you can see this setting. So firstly, you can go into the input settings here and you'll see a tick box here that says automatically mix audio. Now you can also alter this setting from the audio mixer by using these two little lines here. So as you can see, if I'm turning it off here, you can see the lines turn on and off. And same will work if I press it here as well. You see this tick box uh, be disabled. So it's entirely up to you where you set this up wherever is easiest for you. So you can see here that I've got the automatically mix audio tick box off, meaning that I'm manually controlling when the audio is available or not. Now, sometimes this is called follow, meaning that if you turn this on, the audio is following the input to the output. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this off and show you a quick example. So if I switch to this image now, you can still see that my audio is totally working. So no matter what's in the program output, you can still hear my audio. So if I change that, if I go into the settings here and I untick, uh, sorry, if I tick the automatically mix audio, my audio will turn off when I remove it from the output. Audio on, audio on. And you would have noticed that the follow thing here is also available. So if I turn this off here, and we go back into the settings, it's now off because we've turned it off from the audio mixer. But you can choose to turn it on or off in those different locations. So I'm gonna leave this off so that you can continue to hear my audio in this tutorial. So because I've set up this audio source not to automatically mix, it means that I need to control it manually. So I can do that here from the audio, turning this on, turning this back on again, or I can do it from the mixer, or I could set up a shortcut as well. So on my keyboard, X keys, MIDI device, I could set up a Shortcut to turn the audio off, turn it on, off, turn it on. So when you're not mixing it automatically, you can do it all manually and set up shortcuts and triggers to do that. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, why would you wanna have it automatically mix the audio? Well, it's really handy for things like video files. So I have a video file here that's been on loop throughout the whole production. You can see that there's audio on the file, but it's not actually in the production. So when I switch it to the production, you'll be able to hear the audio. So if I cut it here, you'll be able to hear the audio from the video, but you can also still hear the audio from my microphone. So this is really handy if you're going to do a production where you're introducing things or showing images and all that kind of stuff. So when we do our intro videos, that's how we do it. Now, as you can see, I've switched it back to the preview. The audio is now unavailable. So it's available, unavailable. So that's, why you, that's an example of why you would use the automatically mix audio. So that was a really quick look at how to make sure that your audio is always heard in your video production. We also have plenty of audio tutorials that I'll link here, here, or down around somewhere or in the description um, that'll include the rest of our in-depth audio tutorials. So if you wanna learn more about audio and vMix, check those out. If you do have any questions about audio and vMix, please send us an email via the contact page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.